Today I'm going to be doing a review on the Iftron Yellow Jacket RPV Diversity Receiver. Um, this is my first review video, so I'm probably going to make a lot of cuts and stuff, so uh, don't mind that. Um, I guess we'll start with just the case itself. Um, it's a nice solid build. Uh, and for size comparison, here's a standard 1.3 receiver from BEVRC. Um, it's pretty much the same size, but this one contains a diversity and you hook your antenna straight up to it, which is nice. Um, that allows you to do a nice, clean, and compact ground station. Um, you can input 6 to 17 volts DC, so that's um, a 2S battery to a 4S LiPo. Um, I have mine hooked up to a, four, like a 12 volt car battery, but it usually sits around 14 volts. Um, so this has a, a, a built-in audio alarms for RSSI, um, low battery, um, what else? Um, it also does little ticks when it switches antennas, um, so you can hear it doing that, which is cool. Um, and then a little indicator for which antenna it's using, those LEDs. Um, also, so it has a mic input, so you can re um, record sound from your um, ground station, uh, basically talk into your recording, and uh, that's useful for videos. I know a lot of people like that. And then also, what's nice is it has two outputs um, so you can plug one into your DVR and one into your video goggles or one into a monitor and one into video goggles, um, which, um, is very useful. You don't have to have a splitter. Um, this thing is pretty cool because it's so compact that you have two antennas. Um, all you need to put into it is the power cable and then you get video output and it has pretty much everything built in that you need, um, except it doesn't have tracking. Uh, that's the only thing. Um, but... With a pepper box, you don't need tracking, so um, that's why I use the pepper box with this receiver. I just thought I'd add a little thing with the di with the diversity receiver on, so you can see um, it's on right now. Um, there's your antenna indicators and your RSSI level. I have full RSSI right now because my plane is five feet away um, with video transmitter full power. But you can see it alternating between antennas, um, and if I like get in front of it. it it switches a lot and you can see it's pretty quick and uh, if we looked at the video um, I'll, I'll actually record that right now for you um, let's see yeah so I'll go ahead and move around and see you can see it's switching all the time um, and I'll post the video in the corner of this and you can see that it doesn't like do any weird jumps or anything um, so the diversity is nice and smooth as far as anything negative I have to say about the receiver, um, I did email Ira about the the RSSI alarm used to be a bit too sensitive and it'd go off too early. He did a firmware update for that um, and uh, I sent him my receiver to him and he fixed that up. Um, there really isn't anything that I found wrong with this receiver yet. If there is, um, I'll definitely talk about it. I guess that's it. Um, and then the next part will be a spectrum analyzer overview and the next part will be the on-screen menu choices and all that and then finally um, I'll just be uploading videos of this in action on my YouTube channel for me flying FPV you'll see my videos you'll see me just leaving my DVR recording all day when I'm flying with my buddies um, and uh, so you'll get to see some different planes different flying styles and also importantly how the video quality looks and hopefully I can get some of them to use the other their other gear and upload the um, DVR recordings and then I'll go ahead and put them all into one video side by side and do a comparison. So yep, that's that.